Hey y'all and welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be sharing the things that I picked up from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, stay tuned. This is all I got y'all. That's all I got. So I just wanted to show y'all all the things that I picked up. Now I have not used any of these yet. I have been waiting for y'all, okay? Waiting to show y'all so that I can open them. So let me know if you tried any of these. Some of these are repeat offenders for me, but then some of them I feel like, you'll you'll see, child, you'll see. <laughs> also, if you're brand new to the channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Bianca and I do videos every week, so make sure you subscribe and come back. Join the fam if you do like what you see. So first up is the Clinique Happy Perfume Spray. Now this is nostalgia for me because I feel like 8th, 9th grade, this scent, now I haven't used it or purchased it since 8th and 9th grade. Let me start with that, but the scent just kind of carry with me. Let me see. Mm. I don't know if it's still giving like it did in 8th or 9th grade or maybe I guess my scent, my taste, not my taste. I was gonna say my taste buds, but my, ooh, mm, my um, palette, I guess. That's not a palette. Girl, you know what I mean? The scents that I liked back then. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. This used to hit like back in the day. She might be going back, but I did pick it up. Um, <laughs> this is in the one fluid ounce. And like I said, the reason why I picked it up is because this used to be my go-to back in the day. Like I felt like it was the scent that was always on the testers at Back Belt, JCPenney's, Macy's. But I would never actually purchase it. But I feel like my mom had it and I would use some of hers. So that's kind of what made me got it. Or that's what made me purchase it. Alright, next up it's actually two of the same product just in different shades. These are the Benefit Proof Brow Pencils in the shade Natural, I'm sorry, Neutral Deep Brown 4.5. And then warm black brown number five. The girls raved about this. Like all the TikTok girlies, Instagram, like everyone said you need to try benefit, benefit, benefit. So here we are. Now if y'all let me down, I done got two. That's how confident I am in y'all, okay? <laughs> so the reason why I got the two uh, brown and black brown, I feel like I am a black brown. But on the website, the neutral brown, like deep brown also looked like it would work. So I was like, let me just try both. And of course they were 50% off. I don't think I mentioned that. So during the 21 days of beauty, everything is 50% off. But these are so like clutch because I was able to get two for the price of one. And I just love, like, you know, I love doing my brows. Now I am a brow whiz girly. Like the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz. That's usually what I use. But I figured I would switch it up. Today I did not use this product though. So I cannot wait to use it and share it with y'all. Let me know below if you have heard about it or if you also have tried it and loved it. Next up is the IT Cosmetics Color Correcting Illuminating Full Coverage Cream. It also has anti-aging hydrating serum and broad spectrum SPF. So this is giving me spring summer energy in the shade Neutral Tan. Now, I don't know if this is going to be appropriate, like the appropriate shade for me. Especially since it's going to be in the summer, but I am a neutral. Like my undertones are neutral. I'm going to have to see. It actually looks okay. Let me know what y'all think. I think it actually looks okay. Mm, yeah. I don't know. It actually looks okay. But I'm also not in my full like spring, summer shade. However, y'all know I wear SPF every day. So honestly, I will be keeping this just for the winter too. Now, that's saying, that's assuming that it's not going to get me oily. So we'll see. I am going to still fully test it out. But the color match, for right now anyways, is actually a bop. So we love that. Sticking along with IT Cosmetics, this is the IT brush for Ulta. And it is the buffing foundation brush. Now I started applying foundation with brushes years ago. And I feel like it changed the game for me. So if you have not started using a brush to apply your foundation, I highly recommend it. I think it just applies it, like it allows it to blend way more and give you that smooth finish, which who doesn't want a smooth finish, right? Now this product, I will say, was one of those ones that disappeared from my cart. Like I wanted to get so many other brushes from IT Cosmetics, but baby, the girls were on it, okay? So obviously that means the brushes do what needs to be done. 
And then considering I have acne prone skin, like you can never have too many foundation brushes. That's been my motto forever now. I think this is gonna be my, my fourth one. <laughs> my fourth one. So even if my brushes as a whole aren't clean, I feel like my foundation brush has to be clean. Like I cannot reuse it again and again and again and not expect my face to break out. So IT Cosmetics, it does have this like piece up here that kind of expands a little. So I guess you can hold it like a pencil almost when you're applying it, IDK. But I got that one and then I also got the IT Cosmetics. Not nah, me forgetting what, what the name of this brush is. The IT Cosmetics, oh yes, yes, yes. So this is the dual ended flawless complexion. It doesn't look like it looked on the website. That's why I was like, what is this? So let me open this because I want to show y'all. All right, so, oh, it's so cute. So this is a dual brush. It's an airbrush flawless complexion brush. So you can apply using this side or you can use the smaller side. I'm gonna be using this small one to under my eyes primarily, but honestly the bigger one I can also use here and here. So it's giving y'all, it's giving and it's so cute. It's like really petite. I don't think I realized it was this cute and tiny. Like I was thinking it was gonna be really, really large, but I do still love it. So between these two brushes, I'm very excited to tap into these the next time I do my makeup. Next, I did pick up the Patchology Flash Patch. These are the rejuvenating um, gels for your eyes, like under your eye. And these I actually did an assorted pack reel on Instagram where I showed y'all like all the different options. These I would have to say are my favorite. This is the rejuvenating one. So honestly, first thing in the morning, like if you're like me, you gotta get up early for work and you are not a morning person or you like to stay up late when you know you should be in bed, this literally wakes you up. The caffeine in here, activate something under there y'all i'm not even gonna hold you like it really does make you feel refreshed i just love it and then also y'all know <laughs> my struggle with the patches being in this container let me show y'all if you've been here for a while you know my struggle i think it was with the good molecules container like this how it got dried at the bottom so we're gonna hope and pray for better days with this one <laughs> i have no doubt though so this is pretty much 15 yeah, 15 um, pairs in here, which is perfect because it'll last me at least a little over two weeks. I am planning to use this every single day. I actually just ran out of my cream that I apply under my eye. So once you take the eye gel off, and I'll try to find, find that clip that I'm talking about with the video footage of me using it so that y'all can see. But once you apply it under your eye and leave it on, and you take it off, you can kind of blot in the excess product. Now the assorted one does have three different types and with all of that it's $18, which I think is a great price point because you do get to experiment and see which ones you like to then purchase the larger one later. So all of these products will be linked below, but I do really love this one and I have already used it before. Next up is the Too Faced Mascara. And let me just get into the name. It's called Better Than Sex and let me tell you, this mascara, I don't care what your lashes look like. Like you can have non-existent lashes or you can have pretty full lashes. This is gonna take you up two notches, guaranteed. Like I don't know what they did with this formula, but when it says volume. Oh yeah, it's gonna give you volume. Trust me when I say it is chef's kiss. Mwah. <laughs> that was a dry chef's kiss, but it is amazing. And honestly, you get a lot in this product, this is an eight mil product, 0.27 fluid ounces. There's a lot in here, so it will last you a while. Now, I did not put any on today, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but I am dying. Like, I was waiting to do this video just so I can pop this open and add this to my stash over there. I am over the top excited. I honestly have not used it since, I wanna say maybe four years, three, four years, I have not used it just because I've been wearing lashes or I really don't, like that's something I wanna get better about. I really don't focus too much on my mascara, like using it and making sure that I use it when I do my makeup. But moving forward, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out, it's a wrap, like it's a wrap. All right, last but not least is actually a product that I did not recently purchase during the 21 Days of Beauty, but it was available and I did have it in my cart. However, <laughs> I realized when I was trying to find my shade, I was like, wait a minute, I have a whole new one sitting in my vanity, like untouched, unopened. Like I do not need to buy another one. I was very responsible with my coin and I said, I'm not gonna get it, but I wanted to show it to y'all. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This is in the shade 
Toasty Toffee, so 4W2. Now this can be buildable, so it's not gonna give you like that cakey, cakey, real full, full, full coverage look, but I feel like it does the job. One application is enough for me on all of my areas, and I just feel like that speaks volumes. So this product is my go-to. I had to share it with y'all, and that was available on the 21 Days of Beauty Ulta sale. Now, that's all the products that I picked up, but if you missed the sale, two things. Number one, Sephora sale is coming up very, very soon. By the time this video goes out, I feel like the sale will be that following week. So definitely tap in. Some of these products are at Sephora as well. So I, if I were you, look, if I were you, not trying to be in nobody's pockets, I would get ready for the Sephora sale. Now the Ulta Beauty sale, the 21 Days of Beauty, they do offer this two times a year. So if you missed it this time, don't feel bad. You can definitely tap into the next one. I want to say it's sometimes towards the end of the summer, beginning of the fall, but do not quote me on that. However, I feel like equally Ulta and Sephora, they both have my heart. Like I'll be at Ulta today, Sephora tomorrow, getting things that one did not have, or like in this case, catching a sale during one's annual sale versus the other one or semi-annual. So say all that to say, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just really wanted to share the things that I picked up. If you see anything that you like, check the description box. All of the links should be down below for y'all. Other than that, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all on my next one. Bye.